Hi, mic check, mic check, hello. Hi everyone. So, arm balancing is considered one of the most challenging aspects of yoga and many people fear to do them. So in this sequence, I just want you to f do a few preparations so that you can be prepared to try out at least an arm balance. All right. So let's begin. I'm Saurabh Ketkar, a coach with Healthify Me. I've been doing yoga for the past five years now and I've been with Healthify Me for over a year. All right. So let's start in my favorite position of all cat and cow all right so once we're here all right one of the things that we can do all right first is synchronizing our movement with our breath all right so inhale drop your stomach lift your head up exhale belly button in head down chin to chest inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, and back to your toes, bye. Alright, so now in this posture from here, we're going to extend our right leg back. Toes pointing towards the ground, knees straight. Look forward. And now simultaneously extend your left arm up. Alright? So you'll feel that little tension in your core right now. Yeah, this will prepare your core to be able to hold you when you try an arm balance. Alright? Stay. Three, two, three. One, exhale, drop your leg, drop your hand. And now the same thing on the other side. Extend your left leg back. Knees straight, toes pointing down. Shoulders are up, looking straight. And now extend your right arm up. Okay, do not let the leg drop. Keep your arm reaching out to the front. Stay here. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release. And now from here, I want you to try to put your fingers outward. All right. And now just gently lean forward and backward as much as you can. All right. So inhale. Exhale. Feel that load coming onto your hands. Inhale. And exhale. The load is relieved. Inhale. And exhale. Your fingers are active. Inhale. Move forward. And exhale back. Back into a neutral spine. And now this time we point our fingers back towards our knees. Alright, and this time practice the same thing. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, move back as much as you can. Feel that stretch. Yeah, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is strengthening your wrist muscles. Inhale to be eventually able to hold your body weight. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And release your hands. And now we go into everybody's favorite posture in the world. You know what I'm talking about. Plank or Dandasana. All right. Many people either tend to sink their hips lower in this or they tend to take it too high. All right. So always remember shoulders are directly above your palms. Feet are hip width apart. Knees are straight. 
all right and you should be feeling that sort of core strengthening here your, your core would be you know feeling the burn and now since we're trying to do arm balances all right slowly transfer the weight to your left hand all right and just extend your right arm up all right if you cannot hold it bring it back all right we'll do this on the other side transfer the weight onto your right palm extend your left palm up okay back down again right arm up exhale down transfer the weight exhale inhale exhale inhale you should be feeling the burn right by now inhale and exhale all right so now keeping your toes where they are all right staying in dandasana i want you to drop your heels all right towards your left palm and now try extending your right palm up all right so this is one of the best arm balances you can do to train your body to actually lift up its entire weight again don't let your hips sink down all right keep them pushing up keep looking up if you feel comfortable stack one ankle over the other one foot over the other and if you're really confident of your core strength lift the right leg up yeah Three, two, one. Exhale down, leg down, back to plank. All right, again, we're going to do the same sequence on the other side. Drop both your heels to your right and extend your left arm up, looking up. If looking up makes you lose balance, look straight or look down at your palm. All right, again, don't drop your hips. Keep them lifted up. All right if once you feel confident stack them only if you feel confident there's always a progression here all right now from here extend the leg up three two one exhale down and now drop your knees back relax the arms relax your head Now there's one more preparation that you can do, which is for your shoulders, all right? Because even your shoulders are going to bear a lot of your weight once you try some arm balances, all right? So first let's relax here for three, two, one. Now, please find the, find this grip. All right, hold your left elbow with your right hand, right elbow with your left hand, find that distance, and then extend your arms out, interlace your fingers, all right, and now fix this position of your arms. All right, now lift your hips up, and lift your toes off, the knees off the ground as well. Okay, you touching the heels here on the ground is gonna be very difficult, so let it let your Heels be off the ground, but ensure your hips are rising up. All right, stay here if this is hard enough. For those of you who feel confident of trying out an arm balance, try this first, all right? So inhale here, exhale and try to bring your chin in front of your palms. And exhale. Yeah, if you're not feeling confident, just stay here. All right, keep lifting your hips up. For those of you who feel confident, let's do it one more time. Exhale, inhale here. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And inhale up. Stay here. Three, two, one. Drop your hands down, knees down, and relax. You can take your arms back also for an extra dose of shoulder 
relaxation. And now let's get down to actually trying an arm balance. Alright. So again, very important, alright, palms are directly beneath your shoulders. Alright, and now place your right leg outside your right palm and your left leg outside your left palm. Alright, and now try to bring both your feet together. And now your upper arms, your thighs will be resting on your upper arms. Alright, try this. Try to load your palms and your elbows. And when you're comfortable, lift your legs off the ground. If you're not comfortable, stay here. Alright, you can lift one leg off. Drop it. Lift the other leg off. Drop it, do that one more time, lift the leg off, drop it, lift the other leg off, drop it. Once you feel confident, lift both your legs off. If you feel confident even more, you can even interlock your feet. Yeah? Stay here if you can. Three, two, one. Extend and release. Release the arms and sit back yeah so yeah arm balances are actually quite fun once you get over the fear of doing it okay this is definitely for those who have a little bit of strength in their core because your core is basically what's holding all your body weight all right we can try one more sequence one more arm balance since I've already warmed up all right this time feet are hip width apart place your palm shoulder width apart all right and bring your knees all right inside of your armpit you can extend your arms a little bit in front and come onto your toes and lean forward you can stay here if you want all right you can also lift one leg off Drop it, lift the other leg off, drop it, you know, build that core strength because your core is the one that's most active and remember to look straight, all right, and fix your gaze at one point, all right, once you fix your gaze, everything is possible, all right, stay here, five, four, Three, two, and one. Exhale, release. So that was a sequence to train you to at least attempt an arm balance. Once you get into doing arm balances, you will realize how relaxing and stable they are. You almost feel like you're standing on your legs. I hope you do enjoy this sequence. I hope you try it out again. All right. Do let me know if you have any feedback regarding this. Thank you for practicing with me today. This is Saurabh from Healthify Me signing off. Thank you.